I'm Richard from Active Environmental Solutions and today I'll show you how to bump test and calibrate your Toxic Ray Pro PID. First we're just going to turn it on using the button, hold it down for 5 seconds. It turns on. See the guys started, it's telling me it's really loud. Let's run a self test. Tell you when the sensor warranty expires. We just gotta wait for the PID to warm up. Apply the zero gas. After the zero cal, it's gone to zero and it's put the reading to zero ppm. So now the unit is running. Now that it is turned on, we're just going to go to the calibration menu, press two buttons, press the to bump test. We'll press the bump test button, so just press select. Test gas is the isobutylene 100% ethane. Take a fixed low regulator, the calibration cap we've already fitted, fit it to the unit, take a 100 ppm isobutylene, attach to your fixed low regulator, open your regulator, And that will already run. Once it's passed, turn off the gas. And it's ready to be used for the day. If it fails, scroll down to span calibrate. Do not change the gas as we'll be using the 100 parts per million. Oops, open your regulator. Oops. And then run it for 60 seconds. Since this unit passed, we we'll need to calibrate it. Turn off the gas. Exit the calibration menu. Scroll down to exit. Press select. Make sure you remove your calibration cap. Let the, let the unit return to zero, which should happen after a few seconds, and then you're ready to... Uh, another good thing to check with this is the alarm settings. We'll just go down, check your high alarm, 100 ppm, standard, so it's fine, low alarm, 50 ppm. Check your alarm mode, this is important. Make sure it's on latch so it actually alarms when the detects high levels of ISO of our volatile organic compounds. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Another point of being checked, make sure zero at start is on, just so you're getting those zero readings. 